If you're a sports fan, make sure you go check out Sportscaster for all of your sports needs. Whether you're a football fan, basketball fan, or baseball fan, this app is the perfect way to get news for your team and is an app I personally use myself in case any of you guys want to check out my pregame, halftime, or postgame streams. I'll leave a link in the description below. What is up, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global back here with another video, and in this one, we're going to be talking about how the New England Patriots have signed kicker Kai Forbath after the injury to Nick Folk. Now, if you want to know more about the Nick Folk injury, you can go check my last video out, and you can also go check out a video I posted over on Sportscaster. Link to that in the description below. But in a very, very broad sum-up statement, the Patriots' former kicker, Nick Folk, randomly early on Thanksgiving Day, had to get surgery on his appendix. They were saying he was most likely going to be out one game. Um, I don't know how true that is, but the New England Patriots obviously needed a new kicker within this spot, so they went and signed free agent kicker Kai Forbath. Interestingly enough, way back when, when the Patriots had to find a new kicker after placing Steven Gostowski on season-ending injured reserve, and they brought tens and hundreds it seems like of kickers in the Gillette to practice Kai Forbath was actually one of them and was actually one of the finalists for the job. The Patriots will be getting a veteran aspect here to special teams. Uh, Forbath has been out of the league for a little bit. Last season he only played three games kicking for the Jacksonville Jags and then was the Vikings full-time kicker in 2017. The 32-year-old NFL kicker originally came here to the league in 2012 and he played for a total of four different teams. Now last year he was four of five on field goal attempts with the Jags and was three on three for extra points. During his last full season in the NFL back in 2017 again with the Minnesota Vikings we saw him hit 84.2% of his field goals, that's 32 out of 38 attempts, and 87.2% of his extra points, which is 34 out of 39. Now again, if you haven't watched my last video or checked out my last Sportscaster video, which you guys definitely should to get more updated videos, um, but I had two main predictions on what I thought the Patriots could do at the kicker position, and neither of them actually worked out. Okay, because keep in mind, Nick Folk was supposedly expected to miss just one game. Again, I don't know how true that is going forward, but that is what was reported. So my biggest guess was that they were just going to bring former Patriots kicker back, Mike Nugent. He spent time already with the Patriots. He knows the system. They don't have to work on the placing with um, Jake Bailey, which is a very big and vital thing and something that... Uh, you know, Jake Bailey has struggled with coming into this season for the first time doing this. With the game being right around the bend, I mean, it's already Friday, and we play Sunday. I didn't expect the New England Patriots to go out and sign somebody that they haven't really worked with, okay? They're familiar with him because of his work out, but they've never been able to work really one-on-one -on -one with him, but more specifically, haven't been able to work with Jake Bailey on holding. For the most part, the mechanics on holding a kick for a field goal, a point after trial, is generally the same thing, but each kicker has little details that they like different, okay? They like it pointed a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, a little bit more back, a little bit more forward. Everybody is different, and again, for someone like Jake Bailey, who this isn't his cup of tea, this isn't something he usually does it does make you a little bit worrisome, okay? Because for guys like Steven Gostowski, when he was on the Patriots before going out for the season, and even guys like Mike Nugent, Jake Bailey was having issues figuring out how the heck he was supposed to hold the ball for their kick. All in all, the Patriots have a new kicker, and for anybody wondering out there, anyone taking notes, he has been assigned number five, and he sits at six foot, so he isn't going to bring you, you know, extreme height, but he isn't one of those short kickers that sits at like 5'9". Good move here either way for the Patriots to bring in a veteran kicker. And this is the time for Kai Forbath to get his name back into the NFL, okay? He could also find himself a job with the Patriots for the rest of the season if he does his job. If he comes in here and he's not missing field goals, if he can go and kick the ball from 40 or 50 yards, which is something that Nick Folk never really did, then even if Nick Folk does get healthy and is able to return at some point this season... 
Kai Forbath could be the guy that the Patriots look to, but that is all up to him and what he does with the opportunity. That's going to be it for this one though. Make sure you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below and like this video and subscribe if you have not already. It helps me and the channel and the production of more videos just like this very, very much. Make sure you guys share this video with everybody who knows to go to the Pages Global family. And other than that, I will catch you guys in another video.